Good morning, guys. Welcome to Chaotic Peace Expressions. Um, today's video, I'm going to try to do a multiple tree ring pours. Um, the colors that I'm going to use are Artist Loft White, um, Quinacridone, Magenta by Liquitex. I finally learned how to say Quinacridone. It <laughs> took me a while. And I am using Arteza's Light Magenta. I'm going to also use Artist Loft um, Cobalt Hue. Oh my God, such a yummy, yummy color. Every time I mix it up, I just like, I'm enthralled by its color. Anyhow, also I'm using Turquoise, Pearl Turquoise, Arteza's Pearl Turquoise. And I'm using um, Champagne, Master Champagne. I tend to gravitate more towards the champagne than gold. I think um, more because sometimes I do want the shiny metallic look but not too bright or overpowering. So even when I use golds, I tend to lighten it up to a more champagne-y color. And uh, so I'm layering these up and I will use a smidgen of Artist Love Black right in the middle of the pour. Layering, I mean. I really like this color. They're very girly colors, I know, but I like them really a lot. I think I ran out of the champagne there, so I went and grabbed one that I had in a bottle already mixed up. And the more I'm looking at this, and if memory serves me well, I think the one in the bottle is probably is a more gold color. I don't remember what kind it was because it was done before. And I'm a messy artist and clumsy. If you hadn't already told, gotten that from my previous videos. Um, but hey, I'm trying and, I, and I'm liking it and I'm having so much fun. So, I'm doing these multiple tree rings, and I'm really liking the way they're coming out, but as I'm doing this, I'm not so sure if I'm placing them right, or what I'm doing. I'm just playing it by ear here, and I'm putting the gold around it, kind of like to give it separation. Again, a very clumsy, messy job, but that's my style, I guess. Small little ring pores there. I just don't like to see empty areas. Okay, so now I'm going to tilt. And tilting is a science and an art of its own. And although it's actually quite something that gives me quite a bit of anxiety. I like to do it still. So I'm rarely ever satisfied with how the pour turns out on its first tilting and uh, 
I often have to play with it to get it to where I want it to get it to. And in this pour, I did have to play with it a lot before I was satisfied. I'm going to have to do it more. Still wasn't satisfied. <laughs> and the amount of paint that's going to get used. But it's okay. As long as I'm satisfied with it at the end, I'm okay with it. I'll gather it up and use it somewhere else. The colors are so reminding me of either a Barbie dream world or a My Little Pony dream world. But I know it's very girly. <laughs> but I really like it. These colors make me happy. Over and over again until I get it where I want it, huh? Yep. But I want to tell you guys now, I absolutely loved how this painting turned out. I had to work on it a little bit. I had to work at it. But, oh my God, when it was completely done, I'm just, just in love with it. I sometimes go back upstairs where I do my painting and just to take a look at it. This and a couple of other ones are so much my favorites now. I'm so happy with them. I am going to put this up for sale even though I don't want to. I really, really like it. But yeah, I really like it a lot. Thinking of adding diamond dust at the end to this painting, I have added glitter to some of my other ones, and if I do, I'll show it in a future video that I do on glitter. Played with it a little bit here. Wanted a certain type of look to come out, so I wrecked it at certain spots. And for once, oh my god, the colors on the sides are coming out perfectly. I'm not having to fight with the sides here, too. When I look at this painting, what I see is some magical lagoon somewhere. And it's such beautiful colors and maybe some colorful rock formations, which are giving that beautiful pinkish colors and purplish colors, lavender and lilac. And maybe that's um, a very beautiful magenta color fish that's flowing in there. That's what I am feeling when I'm looking at it. Tell me what you think. Comment below, please. Like my video if you like it. Comment, please. And it just encourages me to do even more and more. I love this painting. I know I keep saying it about my own painting, but I'm proud of it. And uh, I'd like to know how you think. And I'm willing to take any type of criticism. 
and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you really um, liked it. It just helps me keep going and doing more and more. And uh, I work so hard at it. But hey, I'm having such a good time and it's so fun to do. And uh, I'm always thinking about colors. Be sure to watch till the end of the video and check out the close-up and the mock-up of how the painting may look up on the wall. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I really thank you for watching, for taking the time and watching this video. And uh, I hope you're taking care of yourself and you're keeping safe. And I wish you a blessed day. Thank you.